Hey, what is up everybody? Michael Crump back here again talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, homebrew news, and much, much more. So today, I wanted to make a follow-up video of this video, which was a video that I released just a couple of days ago that was about using the official PlayStation emulation that Sony created on a PS4 9.00. So in that video, I showed how you could take your own PlayStation 1.bin file.qfiles file and be able to compile them using Sony's official emulator, which was debuted with Siphon Filter, and be able to run that on a PlayStation 4. Again, the primary benefit of doing this is, is that this is Sony's own PlayStation emulator, so there's a lot more bugs and kinks that have already been worked out. Fast forward to where we are at today, we have a PSP emulator that was also created by Sony that we're going to be able to take advantage of to package your own PSP games in a format that the PlayStation 4 can use. So here is one game that was an example game called No Heroes Allowed. So this is obviously another title that's included in the PlayStation Plus premium subscription model or you can buy it for $9.99. Now if we scroll down here just a little bit you can see that it says experience No Heroes Allowed originally released on the PSP system enhanced with rendering rewind, quick save, and custom video filters. Now this emulator has also now available that we can start taking advantage of this and being able to package your own PSP ISO games. So let's take a look at the release. So just a few days ago over here on Logic Sunrise this post came out and it was called PSP FPKG version 1.0 is available. And so it says here that this application from developer Jabu allows you to play your PSP games on a PS4 using the new PSP HD emulator from the PS Plus subscription service. It says the developer admits it himself. He didn't have enough time to test it a whole bunch of games but it should work well. So looking at the screenshot here, we basically are going to be inserting our PSP ISO image here. We're going to be able to give it an icon, a splash screen, a title, and then an NP title. And then we can create the fake package. It says select a PSP disk image in ISO format, customize some settings, press the create fake package and that's it. When playing a game, press options to bring up a menu. From here you can use saves, change display options, or rewind your game. It says this emulator should be more compatible than the old Paparapa the Master PSP emulator, but they need to test it in order to make sure. And if you want to download this, you can obviously come right here or I will be including a direct link where you can come over here to Mediafire and download it from here. Let's go ahead now and let's take a look at this release and package up our own game. And so once everything is extracted, there is a readme.txt that is included, but basically just covers the same information that we talked about just a second ago. There is another suggestion in here to make sure that if you run into any issues, try running the app with the administrator rights. And again, special thanks over here to Cybeck for the emulator release and the backport, and again to a couple of other people for support. Once everything is extracted, you should see a format that looks just like this one. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the PSP fake package.exe and we're going to go ahead and we're going to run that as an administrator. Okay, so here is the dialog box that comes up. We can go over here to about and then again we can just see those credits again. So let's go back to general and let's select our UMD disk. So I'm going to press select here and since I used Metal Slug X or Metal Slug 10 for the PlayStation 1 video, I decided that I would just continue that and 
use Metal Slug XX for this PSP video. So once you select the image there, by default it pulls out the icon0.png from the ISO image itself. So you don't necessarily have to go out and find one of those images like we did for the PlayStation game because those aren't included in the .bin.q files. But if you wanted to change that, you could come right here and press the select button. You could also change the splash screen if you wanted to. And you could change the NP title or as well as the title if you wanted to. I'm going to leave everything here just as the default and I'm going to press create fake package. Now we need to browse for a folder for where we want to put this and there we go. So basically at this point just let it run and you don't really get any sort of indicator that tells you where it's at in the process but just let it run and when it is finished you will see this dialog here which just says PKG created. So again we're going to go ahead and press OK here and let's navigate out to that folder where it saved it and there it is. There is the package file that we would need to install on our PlayStation 4 and run it. One thing to note here is, is that the compression algorithm that PKG uses is very great indeed. As you can see there is a big difference in the file size from the original ISO at 452 megs down to 237 megs in this PKG file. Well, that is going to do it for this one. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!